What's going on guys? I'm here in uh, Pensacola, Florida and um, unfortunately the beaches are all closed. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Okay, here we go. But unfortunately, I'm in Pensacola, Florida. All the beaches are closed. Only thing we got left to do is inshore fishing until they close that. I hope they don't. But I went out here today. But I'm gonna come out here, see if I can get on some trout. I really wanna do a catch a cook for you guys. I like, uh, one way I like to eat trout. I don't like to eat it fresh, don't like to freeze it. But I like to eat it uh, beer batter. So I'm gonna do a little catch a cook for you guys. Beer batter, uh, fried beer batter, <laughs> speckled trout. Sorry, I had a little tongue twister. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys stay safe out there. Wash your hands and tight lines. Fish on. Trout. 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 That's a decent one. He bumped it too. Nice. First trout of the day. I might just stay here now and catch my three trout. Let me get out of this light. I need to get out of this light. He, he hammered it. I'm gonna wet my hands. You know you're supposed to wet your hands when handling trout. Oh yeah. Savage gear shrimp. Nice. I'd say he's about 18 inches. I would hope he's 18 inches. I'm gonna put him in there real quick. Seventeen thirty eight. Hey, I said, Hey, what's up? Hello. My bad, I hit the record button. I'm pretty sure this is a red. Ain't no trout. <sighs> it might be a legal one too. Hope he is. He's barely hooked too. Barely hooked. Got the uh, shadow wrap. Oh, he's got a weird thing on his tail, like a growth. But he's a pretty little fish. Nonetheless, not a keeper, but at least I'm catching fish. This little red. Good 
think so. Oh, oh Jesus. First thing I'm gonna do is flay this fish. If you guys wanna know how to flay it, I'll leave a link above. I already made a video on how to flay uh, speckled trout. Fairly easy. He's blurry. Hold that button. All right, once you get your speckled trout filleted, I'm gonna lay it in some paper towels. I'm gonna and dry it off and put it in the fridge. You wanna keep your fish cold when you're uh, making beer battered fish. Helps it stay crispy. And it's better when you fry it that way. So I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. And then we'll get our, uh, our flour and beer batter ready. All right, guys. The ingredients I'm going to use today for uh, the beer batter fish or beer batter speck of trout. All-purpose flour, a little bit of cornstarch, that salt, garlic powder, and, of course, Obey. Of course, you're going to need you a brewski, Corona Extra Light. It's not affiliated with coronavirus or anything, so it's okay. Plus, I got hand sanitizer right over here. Just in case. First thing you're gonna need to do, get your cup of flour. All right, add in my cup of flour. After that, I'm gonna add a little cornstarch. Helps it, helps it get crispy. A little more crispy and just add a little diff different texture to it. Just add a teaspoon. I'm sorry, that's a tablespoon. I meant a tablespoon. Oops, didn't Up the mess because it's powder everywhere. Focus. Garlic powder. I love garlic. Of course, good old fashioned kosher salt. And you know I can't do it without some Old Bay seasoning for my Maryland roots. Let's get the big open right now. Now we gotta get the beer. Got my beer. Just gonna slowly pour some in. Just enough to get it wet right now. See how it's getting real thick? And a little more beer. So make sure you get all the pumps out too. To the best of your abilities. Now you see how it's getting thicker, right? I like mine a little thinner than that. I'm gonna add a little bit. That's the consistency I like. All right. So since we got the beer batter ready, we're gonna put this in the fridge and keep it cold. And one of the main keys making beer batter is keeping everything cold until you're ready to drop it in the grease. So it stays crispy and gets really crispy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prep our fish. There's our fillets, got them dried as much as I can. Now we're gonna cut, cut them to length. Now I just wanna have them nice little what do you call it? Uh, fish sticks length. So I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them to lengths just like this, about this size, about palm length, I guess you can say. That way they fry even and uh, cook quicker as well. Now that I got them cut to length, I got a cookie sheet right here. I'm gonna lay my fish on, make sure they stay dry. I'm gonna give them a salt real quick, right before I put them in the the fryer. So I'm gonna season the fish. I always want to season your fish before you cook them. And again, with the kosher salt. You don't need too much salt. That batter has enough seasoning already, but you just want to give it a little flavor. Make sure it sticks on there. Now that we got our batter prepped and our fish ready, we're gonna add some good old fashioned vegetable oil 
You don't need that much oil. When you, I'm not frying that much fish. So I'm gonna give it about an inch, inch and a half. Just to make sure you're frying all both both sides of the fish. I'm gonna start heating that bad boy up. All right, our grease is nice and hot. I just tested it. So now, just wanna go ahead and dip your fish. Go ahead and coat the whole thing. And drip, not all of it off, but most of it. Not most of it, but uh, enough as it stops dripping so you don't make a mess. And when you lay the fish in, you wanna lay it away from you so you don't burn yourself. All right, into the grease we go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and get these other fish done. All right, guys, the fish is done. That's when you look how, how good this is. Let's look. Look at that. White crispiness. Goodness. Oh, it's so good. Here's the beer battered uh, speckled trout. Extra crispy. If you, follow all these, <clears throat> if you follow all these directions, your fish will turn out this good or even better. But just listen to that crispy crunch. You hear that? Look at that steam. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, guys, let's give it a try. Well, I already know what it tastes like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good. Mm, gotta take another bite, so good. Oh yeah, just wanna try something out. I also beer battered a Vienna sausage I wanna try. I don't know if I'm gonna try it on camera or not. Put a comment, <laughs> put down a comment below if you want to see me try this. This is just for craps and giggles, shits and giggles. I said crap just because um, I know it's for the kids, but kids watch your YouTube channel now, and you won't get paid, so I just said shit. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay safe and wash your hands and keep on fishing.